Hey guys, it's Megan, and since you guys really enjoyed my top 23 things you probably didn't know about The Walking Dead, I'm here to bring you the top 10 weirdest deaths. Number 1 is the woman that died of a heart attack from shock after waking up at her own funeral. Fagio Mukamazano from Kazan, Russia was wrongly accused deceased by doctors in June of 2012. The horrified 49-year-old screamed when she was realizing they were about to bury her. She was then rushed to a hospital where doctors proclaimed that she was dead after a suspected heart attack. Yeah, that's the way to die from shock after almost being buried alive. <sighs> Number two is the bride who accidentally drowned herself while doing her nuptial photo shoot. A bride fell to her death in August 2012 at the Oray River about 75 kilometers north of Montreal. She was standing in about 15 to 30 centimeters of water while a photographer took her picture. A witness says her dress got too heavy from soaking in all the water and she was asking assistance to get out of the river. The photographer and his assistant were unable to get her out. That's when she got carried away by harsh currents and got taken underwater. Quebec Provincial Police found her about four hours after the incident. The woman who was named Maria Pentezapoles, who was only married for a few months, wanted more pictures of herself and her dress at the river. The 30-year-old newlywed might have been doing something called the trash to dress photo shoot, which is a trend that takes well-dressed people and puts them in environments that they might not suit in. Number three is the man killed by a deputy near his own burial plot. 77-year-old David Pendleton, whose wife had recently died, was just a few feet away from his own tombstone, which had engraved his name and date of birth on a family plot. When he was found by police out of his mind, he pulled out a loaded gun at a deputy. The officer urged him to put down the gun, but he kept pointing it, so he was fatally shot. Investigators have not figured out when the grave marker was installed. Number four is the teen who committed suicide by throwing himself to piranhas. An intoxicated 18-year-old teen boy jumped out of his canoe into a stretch of river infested by piranhas. Police believe the death was suicide because the young boy was a fisherman who was familiar with the river and knew it was filled with flesh-eating fish. That's a really bad way to commit suicide. Number five is the man who died from spontaneous combustion. 65-year-old Danny Van Zandt was found in his home incinerated on February of 2013 by his family. He died in such a manner that suggests that he died of spontaneously combusting. Van Zandt drank alcohol and smoked cigarettes, but that could not factor into how he spontaneously combusted. The floor beneath him was not burned and showed no signs of any accelerant. The autopsy shows no clue of how the fire started. That's a pretty hot death. <laughs> no, too soon? Okay. Number six is the woman who died after accidentally being injected with soup. 88-year-old Ilda Victor Marcel of Rio de Janeiro died in September of 2012 from being injected by soup. A nursing technician mistakenly injected soup into her IV on her right arm instead of her feeding tool. Marcel's daughter was there with her when they injected the soup and she said her mom started squirming and she had not felt discomfort of any kind since being in the hospital. Marcel died 12 hours after just receiving the injection, but the director of the hospital acknowledges the error, but he does not acknowledge that it had to do with her death. The Medical Legal Institute is still investigating the cause of death. Number seven is the serpent pastor who died from a snake bite. 44-year-old Matt Wolfer was bitten on the thigh in May 2012 when he sat by a rattlesnake at an outdoor service at a state park. He was taken to a relative's home but then was rushed to the hospital where he was declared dead. Wolfer believed that the Bible requires Christians to handle poisonous snakes to test their faith in God. Number eight is the man who died during an extra martial threesome. William Martinez died in March of 2009 by result of a threesome with a woman who was not his wife and a male friend. In June 2012, his family received $3 million because the doctor failed to tell Martinez 
that over exiting himself was a bad idea. They had previously sought out for five million, but it was seen that 40% of the death was his fault. Now see, that's what happens when you have sex. Okay, I don't wanna have sex when I grow up. Now that that's gonna happen. Number nine is the man who shot himself during gun safety class. In March of 2013, Brian J. Perry shot himself in the head at a gun safety class at his local gun range. One of the witnesses said, the man who shot himself appeared to be lonely and deflated. Also, that he never spoke to anyone or raised his hand to ask a question. Now, that's a bullet through the head. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, they're stupid, I'm sorry. Number 10 is the Swedish man that was killed by his own lawnmower. A man in his mid 40s died of mowing a lawn in southern Sweden. A witness said, we think he was mowing a lawn on what turned out to be a steep incline. The man who fell with the machine went under the mower and was ravaged badly by the blades. And that's it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment and rate and also subscribe because I love that and I love all you guys and it just helps me out. And yeah, and I love you guys and um... I'm going to be trying to do something for, since it's the start of the year, except for last week, which I didn't do. Um, I'm going to be doing something probably this month in February just to test it out. And I'm going to be doing these top videos and see how you guys feel. And if you guys like them, maybe I'll keep doing it for the rest of the year and just do like random stuff in the week maybe. But these will be like the main videos if you guys like it. And if you like it, please tell me in the comment section. And I love you all, you guys. And I will see you guys next week. And peace out, Girl Scouts. Yeah.